Well, it's Wednesday, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, and we're continuing on with our vacation here, spring break vacation. Today, we are at the Strecker Museum, which is a part of the Mayborn Museum Complex, and this thing we're about to look at right now is about the Waco Mammoth site. We're inside the, uh, the exhibit at the Stryker Museum of the Waco Mammoth site. What do you think, Megan? I think it looks good, and there is bones under us of a mammoth. What else? There's a movie playing. There's a movie playing. Do you see the shape of the mammoth right there? There's a tusk. There's another tusk right here. This was a larger mammoth, parental mammoth. And right here is believed to be a baby mammoth. The uh, paleontologists, the people who basically done the excavation on this site, say they believe that uh, the mammoths were crossing over a part of the river when a rainstorm came down. And uh, what happened is uh, one of the uh, little baby mammoths became entrenched in the mud. Right there. And one of the parental mammoths was trying to, was trying to pull it free from the mud whenever it uh, became stuck itself. So that's these bones right there. I don't see right like that. Exactly. They became entrenched, let her drown, and they were packed in mud and preserved for many, many years until the late 1970s when they were discovered by a hiker. So anyway, that's the story behind the mammoth site. We're, uh, we're going to finish up here at the Stryker Museum. Go check out some of the Discovery Center here at the Mayborn Museum Complex. And then we're going to head out to that mammoth site later on today and try to bring you more of that. So we're going to sign off for now. Later, Meg. Bye. Bye-bye. And so we finished up at the Mayborn Museum, Meg and I. Hi. And now we're headed over to the mammoth exhibit, the actual location on the river. So we're going to go check that out next. It's uh, actually coming up right here. We're right up on top of it. Hopefully today is open. We tried to hit this place uh, Monday, I believe, <clears throat> and it was closed. And they closed when it rains, so we couldn't hit it on Tuesday. So we took the day off on Tuesday. So now we're going to pull into the mammoth side here. Looks like the gates are open. What do you think, Meg? I think it's a good idea. Okay, we're gonna. It's gonna be really cool. It's really gonna be really cool. cool. She thinks it's still gonna be really cool. So we're about to head over to it. And uh, parking lot right there. I have never been here before. I worked for the news. We've covered this several times, but I've never been out here to actually see it. And Neither so have this, I. Yeah, this is gonna be a first for both of us. So, uh, we'll bring you more when we get on the inside. Coming up just in a minute. So, we have bought the tickets. Now we're on the way in. We'll, uh, have more as soon as we get in. What do you think so far? I think it would be really cool. Yeah? Well, we're going to find out what exactly this is all about. So, we got to follow this trail through this wilderness little area right here. And basically, it's going to eventually lead over to a building way over there. So, we're going to check this There's out. There's a sign coming up. What's Let's that? see what it says. What's that? There's a sign coming up. That's okay, we're says. going to check out. It just says, follow me to the mammoths. So, we're going, to, we're going to do this, just that. We're going to follow this down to the mammoths. And we'll bring you some more video from inside. I think that that way, we're going to go that way. 
Yeah, here we are still walking. The trail's a little longer than you think. Looks like a, there's a resting area for people who can't make it the whole way. But yeah, we're uh, we're still walking down to the Mammoth site. I hope it's going to be worth the price of admission, to be honest with you. <clears throat> Enter here for the dig shelter. Oh, we're almost there, folks. We are almost there. We'll bring you more from inside. No food or drinks allowed. Nick says, come on, let's go on in. We're making our way in there right now. We have to walk across this. Now, one thing, one thing we can do, Chuck, is we can just flat out gather with the amount of money that they owe us on the thing that we pay. Well, we're in here. What do you think, Meg? I think it's cool. I mean, if you look at how high the ground is and how low they are, they're pretty low. So they must have been pretty big. Yeah, they were They were pretty deep down there, weren't they? Um, it's amazing that somebody just was hiking along the river trail here and stumbled across one of these bones. It wound up being the <clears throat> largest collection of mammoth bones in history. It's currently on uh, its way through Congress to become a nationally registered park uh, right here in Waco. So it's a it's a pretty cool deal. Yeah. Thank you, little Huh? What do you think? I think it's cool. Yeah. Right in your own backyard, huh? <laughs> Dinosaurs roamed here millions of years ago in your backyard. What do you think of that? I think that's really cool. Yep. Well, that's about it here at the Mammoth site. It's not a whole lot here. I mean, it's just basically a climate controlled building built over the top of all these bones. You've seen how big elephants are. Well, that is a woolly mammoth compared to an elephant. And that is a Colombian mammoth compared to both of them. There's a, a size comparison right there, side by side comparison. They're talking about how big these animals are. I mean, just look at the size of this right here. This is one, two. They can have up to four teeth in their head. That's just one tooth right there. What do you think about that, Megan? How much do you think that's worth with a tooth fairy? Um, a lot of money. You think so? More than a dollar? Yeah. Probably so. Okay. We are uh, heading out now. That's it from the Mammoth Side.